So I thought that it would be fun to go get a coffee and go plant shopping together. Call me crazy, but I think that that sounds like a really good time. Completely unrelated, but I'm actually filming another video today uh, with Botanicas. They sent me a package and I'm so excited to open it. And that's just be excited. Just be looking for that video because I'm really, really excited to see what they send me. But today we're going to go ahead and grab a coffee together, hang out, chat, and go to like a plant store or two. I just want to go take a look around. I thought that we'd go through Starbucks as well because that just kind of seems like, like I love local coffee shops more than Starbucks. But today seems kind of like a, I want to grab my Starbucks, talk to my besties, and then go like a plant shop. I don't know. I think that sounds like a good time. I'm also trying to make my content a little bit more artsy. So let me know if you like it being a little bit more artsy because I'm trying. <laughs> Hello lovelies. We have finished driving. We are at North End Organic Nursery and I'm not going to do a full plant tour. I'm just going to show you some plants that I think are cool when we're in there. As for the coffee, we have a cinnamon vanilla oat milk chai and it is very good. I was going to take you to Greenscape's Boutique, but they were closed. So I drove all the way over there and they were closed, which is very, very sad. Now we're at North End and then we might go to two more places, but also maybe just like the one. Before we go in, I want to manifest something. I want to manifest variegated string of hearts because I'd like to see one of those in person in a store that's not my house. And I also want to manifest philodendron gigas. I think that both of those things would be cool. Their store's a little bit empty today, so we're gonna take a tiny peek around. There's not a ton to show you. But I'm dreaming of this massive terrarium. This little one's cute too. Look at this massive wax ivy that they have. This is called Senecio macroglossus, and it was actually one of my first seven plants that I ever owned. It was very tiny. It's very fun because it's technically an ivy, but it's actually succulent. It feels like rubber. Check out this Obovata splash. That's so cute. Oh, it's growing too. Oh, and another big one. Wow, this one's $120. It's huge. Look at how big it is. I love this store. It's such a vibe. Some Obovata. $13, it's a great price, the heck? And their Curtisias, 24. So cute. Is this really 13? Yeah. 13.95, that's so cool. Oh, I like this spider plant. It has so many colors on it. This Syndapsis exotic is also so adorable, $37. So we didn't have a whole lot there. So we're gonna go to Zamzo's which is over on State Street. The last time I was over there, I went to a different Zamzo's. I actually didn't go to that one because I was so tired and I hadn't slept yet. We are gonna go to the one that I didn't go to before and hopefully they still have a lot of the cute plants. What I like about Zamzo's is that it's always really bright there. Whenever I go to nurseries, I always want to go to the ones that have a lot of color and light because it like helps my mental. <laughs> We're gonna go to that one. We might, we might also go to the other one that's over there, but I'm not sure yet. It depends on how much there is to look at. First one, which supposedly had a lot the last time and it was a mistake for me to not go. Yeah, someone was like, oh my gosh, that location had all of the stuff and these really cool rare plants. And I was like, are you serious? I really like though how Zamzo's is carrying a lot of that stuff because I don't know, there's just like, 2020 Ashley would have lost her mind. And so part of it's like, you know when people are like, oh, be the person your four year old self would like want to grow up to become. Go do the things that yourself a couple years ago would have like lost her mind to get to go do. And one of those things is go to plant shops that have these plants because that was all she liked to do. Lately, I've been trying to like rediscover myself a little bit and try to be like, okay, what do I like to do? 
versus what do I feel like I should like to do. I cut out a bunch of costs with like creating content because number one, I wanna save money and I number two, I, only, I wanna get more creative with how I make content because I felt the most inspired with YouTube back when I had a bunch of limitations. Like I didn't have money to spend on music or editing software and so I did it everything with iMovie and then I used iMovie's music and you know stuff like that. I just I used to be really inspired because I had to work I had to be creative to work around my limitations and I'm wanting to put myself back into that mindset because the mindset I'm in right now is not good. Not that it's bad it's just Right now it's more like, oh, there's nothing to talk about. There's no content to make. When there's definitely content to make, I'm just not thinking of it. And I'm not thinking of anything that I would like to make. Today, when I was like, okay, I wanna film. Like, what do I wanna go do? I was like, well, getting coffee and going plant shopping, that sounds like a lot of fun. Sounds like something I would like to watch someone go do. Cause don't get me wrong. I really like watching people take care of their plants, but I also really like watching people plant shop. I like watching people plant shop more more than I like watching them take care of plants. And I think it's just because going plant shopping part, it feels like I'm hanging out with them and we're going plant shopping together, which is like my favorite thing to do is like go plant shopping versus taking care of your plants. I think that I still mentally look at it a little bit like doing chores and I really need to break out of that mindset. I've started calling plant chores therapy. It's like, I'm gonna do plant therapy, you know? to try to like give it a more positive vibe. It's it's kind of like a work in progress, a whip if you will. But I'm really excited to go to Arizona because I feel like, like I'm gonna have time to focus on the type of content that I want to make. And hopefully it's not boring like me talking about this. I don't think it's boring, but maybe you might think it's boring. I'm trying to like rediscover myself, you guys. Okay, we have arrived at the Zamzos. Let us go in, let us leaf if you will. Okay, so whoever said to come here was really smart because they have a lot of really cool plants here, like actually collector's plants. And I'm excited to show you, and whoever runs the plant section here is clearly a plant person because this is very, these, these are incredibly niche plants that are just like out of Zamzos for some reason. <laughs> Look, everything is so cute. They even have Hoya serpents. I like didn't even see these when I first took a look. I've actually never seen these in person before. Zamzos is like the wildest place right now. And they have pebble trays for humidity. Philodendron gloriosum. They have Syngonium batik or Three Kings. And then they have these Anthurium metallicums. And these are grown by Beau Chateau, so this place, by the way, is in Oregon, and I reached out to them. They didn't respond, Sag. But these things are, these are wild. Like, look at this new leaf. It's just so weird. Like, three years ago, Zamzo's was dead ass, just like a random ass pet store lawn care place, and now it's like probably the most premier rare plant purchasing location. <laughs> in Idaho. And I so badly want a Shiveriana. One day. One day we'll find one. This is just so bizarre. The Milano Chrysum are huge. The area itself is so pretty. See what I mean? It's like an actual greenhouse in here. Places like this just make me really happy. Oh, look at the Maranta. I love tiny stems like this. They look so delicate. Ooh, they have Anthurium Scalprum. So cool. And Syndapsis Trubii dark form. Wow. Look at these little leaves. Alocasia cuprias. These are huge. Syndapsis jades. Oh my god. Dude. It's just so like rejuvenating. We got some more anthurium down here, the radicans. One thing I love about Syndapsis in particular is that they are not only incredibly not demanding, but they are incredibly beautiful like all year round. So they're gonna grow all year round, but then they also, in my opinion, are actually way easier to take care of than pothos, 
So if you want something that's just like beautiful like all of the time, get like a Syndapsis Exotica or something because it's incredibly not demanding and it looks perfect like all of the time. Literally forever. I was just taking thumbnails and I found Syngonium Winlandii. Yeah, Winlandii. It's like a velvet Syngonium. It's really, really nice. $22. That's amazing. This baby just walked up to me. Hello. Oh. That is a good nap spot. I agree. What do you think about this one? Look at all these gloriosum. Ooh, and this big uh, fuzzy petiole. Some little chrysums. They have so many billy ties. Someone told me that uh, this place was actually selling them before Edwards was. How much are they charging? I wonder. $30. That is... At least my wallet hurt in a good way. The silver swords are nice too. And the micans. I really like their begonia section. I like the begonia Kit Kats. Look at how big this leaf is. I want mine to get this big again. My Begonia Milano Bellata. I mean, what am I saying? But Maculata YDI. And then here's the other Syngonium that they have. It's also pretty. They also have some really cute Hoyas over here. Like Hoya Crassiopatola. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I <gasps> no, I mean, yeah, it's that all one interesting. Might be safe to get right here. That one would be safe. Safe and as in what? What? Safe as in? I don't trust the, um, the really low price one that I was just talking to, and I'm going to be writing to the owner. Oh, okay. I, I really like the Hoya Parasitica Black a lot. These are $8. I can't wait to buy plants again. Eventually. Oh, and they have a really cute cactus table. These are actually really nice cactus. I really want to go to Beau Chateau. That was really cute. There was there was this lady in there, and she was like, you shouldn't buy these ones. And I was like, oh, like, why? And she was like, well, I don't trust any of the cheap ones. And I was like, oh, what do you mean? And she was like, oh, all these ones that are like less than $18, like I just don't trust them. And I was like, oh, like any particular reason? And she was like, oh, I just don't think that they're good. <laughs> and I'm gonna write to Home Depot and all these places and tell them that I think I don't trust these plants. And I was like, okay, well, you do that. And then as I walked out, she was like, oh, I hope I didn't scare you away from buying anything. And I was like, no girl, like I, I know what I'm looking for. Like, do not even worry. <laughs> Which is just so funny because whenever I see cheap plants, I'm like, cha ching you know? I think that that concludes our day out. I hope that you had fun hanging out with me, getting coffee and looking at some plants. I'm gonna go home because I really want to open this Botanicus package. So thanks for hanging out.